Hello and welcome back. I'm your host, TG13. Today we are looking at some of the big news stories in the NFL. You have Deshaun Watson looking at a year suspension. You have Alvin Kamara looking at a six-game suspension. What does this mean for fantasy football and what does this mean for the NFL? Uh, right here I am using NFL rumors, pro football rumors right there. And scroll down, we'll go back to that in a minute. Deshaun Watson's disciplinary hearing rescheduled, um, but they are looking at a year ban. What does that mean for Deshaun Watson, for Baker Mayfield, Jacoby Brissett, the Browns? Uh, you know, just taking a look at Deshaun Watson real quick, that's, that's going to be two years out of the NFL. You just pay this guy a massive contract. He won't play for for last year he didn't play and then this year he's looking at not playing you just paid this guy a massive amount of money how good is he going to be when he comes back we did see Michael Vick when he was suspended he came back and you know he was in prison and he came back and he kind of lit the world on fire and then he kind of just went back down um, could Deshaun Watson do the same thing or is he going to be a complete bust did the Browns just ruin that whatever they had going for them by making this trade for Deshaun Watson. Um, that's up in the air right now. Obviously, if he gets a year, could that be could that be knocked down to 12 games? Could it be longer than a year? Could he be done out of the NFL for good? That's something that we'll have to keep an eye on, but this is this is big news. Um, it, it's been in the talks for, for a while now since they signed him, but it's looking like it's gonna be a year. It could be knocked down to 12 games. It could be longer than a year. But the year is the report that I keep seeing, obviously right here by Florio. Uh, the NFL and the NFL LPA have been talking, going back and forth. So what does that mean for Baker Mayfield? Now I did a video a couple weeks ago about Baker being traded to the Panthers and what that could do for the Panthers. Another team that I think he should go to is the Seahawks. And I have seen some reports of him being traded to Seattle. I don't believe that yet. Um, I'm not sure if Pete Carroll is just trying to do a complete rebuild uh, with with Drew Locke and trying to get a high draft pick next year. If it were me, and you know I do love fantasy football, I would try to bring somebody in like a Baker Mayfield to help out Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf. But right now they have Drew Locke throwing them the football. Maybe Geno Smith. Either one. Not they're not any good. They're not starting NFL quarterback material. Um, so, fantasy football-wise, that hurts, obviously, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. And you look at the Panthers, uh, you, it's hurting DJ Moore. I did a video about it the other day. If Baker went to Carolina, I do believe DJ Moore could be a top-10 wide receiver in fantasy football. Um, he was only 20 points away from it last year. Again, if you haven't if you haven't checked it out, I, I broke it down in that video. Um and then Jacoby Brissett, and I was I was looking at some of his his stuff, and you know he's not a horrible quarterback. He wasn't as bad as I thought he was. Here's some of his stats, and the big thing is it looks like he holds on to the ball a little bit longer than he should. Now I know the offensive line in Indy wasn't you know this fantastic thing in 2017, and then he was in Miami last year, and that was the big knock on Miami was the offensive line. Uh, but he does hold on the ball a little bit too long. But he is somebody that he doesn't like to push the ball down the field. He's not going to make these big-time throws 20, 30, 40 yards down the field. That's going to hurt Amari Cooper. But it's also going to help, you know, obviously Kareem Hunt, uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones, Jakeem Grant. It's going to help these these guys and because they're going to be the short route runners now. Mark Cooper, obviously, great route runner. I think he's a really good player, but it's going to hurt his ceiling. Um, you know, he's not going to have these massive bombs down the field. It's going to be these short receptions. So if you're in a PPR, he might be somebody to look at. But if you're in a standard half PPR, I'm, right now I'm I'm not going for Amari Cooper. Uh, there's other players around him that around the draft position that that you could draft instead. Uh, let's go. For, I'm looking at running backs here. Let's look at overall. And where is Amari Cooper being drafted? Amari Cooper. So you could have a hurt Chris Godwin, Mike Williams. Well, I would 
definitely pick Mike Williams over Amari Cooper right now. Especially, I mean, with the, we're talking about if Deshaun is out for the year or 12 games. I'm definitely taking Mike Williams over him. I'm taking Marquise Brown. I'm taking Amon Ross St. Brown over him. Cortland Sutton. I mean, there are other wide receivers there um, that I am taking and not even just talking about, obviously, DJ Moore. Um, Michael Pittman Jr., taking him. And then quarterback, I would take Joe Burrow over him. I would take definitely Kyler Murray. Uh, you have TJ Hawkinson down there, Dak Prescott. So that might be a point where you could grab a, grab a quarterback and just skip on Amari Cooper, let somebody else get him. Uh, then you look at, at the running backs. Because he doesn't throw, Jacoby Brissett doesn't throw the ball downfield, he doesn't make these big-time throws, you know, guys can start stacking the box. That's going to hurt Nick Chubb, in my opinion. I think Nick Chubb is a great player. But not having the quarterback that can push the ball down the field and, you know, being a running back, that, that hurts. Uh, it's, it's better for Kareem Hunt, you know, somebody that does catch the ball out of the backfield. That does help him out. Um, so right now I am, you know, I, I don't hate his draft position. Where is he? Uh, Nick Chubb, wide, or running back 10. Would you take Saquon over him? I def I take Aaron Jones. I would take Aaron Jones right now over Nick Chubb. I know they're a run first team, but you you don't have a quarterback that you're used to having. You're not, and I'm not even gonna say that um, that Baker Mayfield is Aaron Rodgers or Patrick Mahomes, but he is better than Jacoby Brissett, and it's not even close. So you go from a mid tier quarterback to a bottom thirty two quarterback. And it's no hate on Jacoby Brissett. I do like the guy. But he's, again, he holds onto the ball too long. He doesn't throw the ball down the field. Those are two things that do hurt the ceilings. The floors will be fine on these players. The ceiling is what's going to hurt. And if you're grabbing Nick Chubb in the second, again, I could take Aaron Jones in the second. I have a legitimate top five quarterback, top three quarterback in the NFL, um, you know, back-to-back -back MVPs. Yeah, we don't have the wide receivers, but I do have the quarterback. I have the offensive line. Wide receivers, they can figure themselves out. So I would take Aaron Jones right now over Nick Chubb. Cam Akers, probably not. Um, looking at the other running backs, Leonard Fournette. I would take Leonard Fournette over Nick Chubb right now. Uh, let's go look where Kareem Hunt is. So I do like his passing or his receiving upside. Where is Kareem Hunt? Now we're going to go back to running backs and Cream Hunt. I take him over Michael Carter. I would take him over Rashad Penny. I would take him over Patterson and Miles Sanders. He'd be up there right now with Tony Pollard. So he's being drafted 88 and Cream Hunt. Oh, yeah, 82. Yeah, I would definitely pick him over Miles Sanders. Um, so, yeah. And and we just looked at Warren We just looked at Amari Cooper. So again, that's some big news um, coming out. You know, within the last couple of days, we've all known it. it was going to be about a year, and nothing's been confirmed. But that's where the that's where the talks are right now, or are for a year. Now, last week or two weeks ago, Deshaun did settle with twenty of the twenty four women, um, which he had come. He had said that he's not going to settle because he is innocent. Well, then he settled. And I understand he's trying to get this over with. The, well, the Browns are trying to get this over with. The NFL is trying to get this over with. They're try, they're tired of playing this game. They just want to get it over with and move on. Um, so I, I'm not going to talk about if he's innocent, if he's guilty, blah, blah, blah. I'm just talking strictly NFL. If he sits out a year, one, you gave this guy a massive contract. He's not going to play for two seasons. Your players are going to get older. It's it happens. Every person gets older, obviously every day, every year. But you've got to start thinking about this. You guys, the Browns had this good team. I believe that they had a really good team. Then you then you get this guy, and you're just setting yourself back. You've lost a lot of your fan base. Whatever. That's on you guys. But strictly fantasy-wise, Deshaun, not playing, not good. Baker's not going to play for the Browns. So you're back on your third quarterback, Kobe Brissett. He's got a good floor, a good floor for the team. Not a high ceiling. 
Uh, he's not somebody. They might win games 17-10, and that's probably going to be a lot of games. They're not going to rack up these points. Um, and that's going to be tough because you are playing against the the Bengals that are now on fire right now. You cannot keep up with the Bengals with Jacoby Brissett. The Ravens, you're not keeping up with the with the Ravens with Jacoby Brissett. It's not happening. Steelers, yes, I can see that. Even though they do have the number one wide receiver in the in the NFL and uh, Chase Claypool, but so yeah, that that's massive. Um, again, running backs. Uh, I think it brings Nick Chubb down a little bit. I think it pushes Kareem Hunt up a little bit. Amari Cooper, I think it brings his ceiling down. He's not going to get these bombs down the field for touchdowns. He's going to get more of those short, intermediate passes. I do think it helps out the slot wide receivers a little bit. Um, you know, try to open it up. And, and David Njoku, I think it helps him out. Um, you know, he might, he won't have five receptions for 100 yards, but if you play PPR league, he might have five receptions for 25 yards. Um, so he's somebody, you know, later on in the draft or even in free agency, you could pick up, put in there just for the, just for that safe floor. Um, so now we go to the second thing, which is we're almost to a hundred subscribers at 100 subscribers. I am giving away a Josh Allen signed mini helmet. Now go ahead and like this video, leave a comment. I've been replying to the comments, guys, you guys can have conversations Leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe. At 100 subscribers, we're giving away the Josh Allen signed mini helmet. Now, I wanted to get this done by July 1st. We have four days left. We're at, I think, 44 subscribers is what I looked at this morning. It might be 45 now. So, we're about halfway there. Let's just, you know, we have a long week. We're going up against 4th of July. Let's just go ahead and subscribe. You guys can stay tuned. All fall, we're going to talk about the NFL. We're going to talk about fantasy football. We're going to talk about DFS. I love DFS. We're going to be talking about DFS. We're going to be talking about Madden. Madden drops, I think it's August 19th. So if you love football, go ahead and subscribe. I'm still working on how to try to figure out how to do a hook a podcast up to this. So if you know how to do that, if you know how to hook a podcast, you know, do I just turn my phone on and record? Do I just do it on my computer? There's something I got to figure out how I want to do that. But we'll have a podcast. We'll have the YouTube. You can listen to us. Or you can listen to me while you're mowing the yard. Or you can watch me when you're just sitting at home having a beer. Nothing else to do. Let's talk football. So let's move on to the third thing. Third thing is Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara, we've all seen the video. Oh, maybe not the video, but we've all heard what happened. Um, he, he beat up a guy in an elevator. I think it was Las Vegas, looking at six-game suspension. Now, he is somebody, a while back, I was drafted in the second round. And I love the pick, but with that six-game suspension, I see his drop a lot like what you saw with DeAndre Hopkins with his PEDs. Uh, he's just going to plummet. Right now, he is being drafted at, right behind Nick Chubb at uh, 11, or at 19, and here, we're just going to do this. Alvin Kamara, 19, running back 11. That's going to drop, obviously. So next up, you look at who else is available. And you have Mark Ingram, who I think I read is going to be 31, 32 this year. And then you have Tony Jones, which we didn't see anything out of. There's a lot of us Tony Jones uh, believers or truthers last year that picked him up. He didn't do anything. And then you're looking at, you know, a rookie out of Baylor who played running back and got hurt and then switched over to linebacker. I think it was five games, and he had 49 tackles or 46 tackles. And then they hired a new offensive coordinator at Baylor, and none of his running backs were working out. So he brought Abram Smith, who is being drafted at a 329, they brought in Abram Smith, and he lit it up last year. He had, I want to say it was over 1,200 rushing yards. I want to see if it says in this. Uh, nope. Oh, yeah, Ingram just turned 32. Um, but I'm not seeing how many yards he ran last year. I want to say it was like 1,200 yards. But 
they brought in this rookie undrafted free agent, which we saw like with uh, James Robinson. And I'm not saying this guy is James Robinson, but we do see it at the at the running back position. Um, Austin Eckler. I mean, you do see running backs that come into the league and they can they can light the world on fire. You know, being drafted in the sixth, seventh, undrafted, um, they can do that. So he's getting paid two hundred and twenty two thousand uh, dollars. One of the biggest guarantees for any rookie free agent around the league in recent years. So they paid this guy to come in. He's somebody that that I've never even heard of until yesterday, and I was looking at their team. I started doing a little bit of um, of research, reading into him, reading what the Saints were saying, reading what Baylor was saying, um, you know, on their message boards. They really like this guy. Uh, he, again, he's not going to light the world on fire, but he does. He is a really good runner. Um, he is 24 years old, so he's a little bit older. I think he had five years there at Baylor. Again, he's, he went from running back to linebacker to running back. But this is somebody you don't even have to risk anything. You can literally let your draft go, and you can draft him in the, first, in the last round if you want to, or you can just pick him up in free agency. Now, the closer we get to preseason, you will see Mark Ingram's stock rise. You will see Tony Jones' stock rise. I highly doubt that Abram Smith's stock will rise. So if you're watching this video, you've never heard of this player. This is somebody to watch. Watching the preseason, watching the in the mini camps or the training camps, um, see what they do with him. They're paying this guy for one year. Like I said, two hundred twenty-two thousand dollars guaranteed. One of the biggest guarantees for any rookie free agent around the league in recent years. So it does make a strong case that he'll make the fifty-three man roster. This is per Fancy Pro. So he's somebody that I would look at. Mark Ingram, I love Mark Ingram, but 32 years old, he's the pass catch. He, he can he can catch the passes, pass catching running back. He's a receiving running back. Uh, they do need somebody else in there. So again, this is only six games. So if you get him in the last round or in free agency right after the draft, he is somebody that you can have for six weeks. And who knows? Maybe you could try to flip him into a trade for somebody else, but. He is going to get playing time, in my opinion, those first six weeks. And what happens if you – know, we'll go back. I think I just read that it could be longer. No, not seeing anything. So, again, six weeks, that's fine. You can use him for that. There's literally, you're not risking anything picking him up. So, again, his name is Abram Smith. He's out of Baylor. I think he ran a 4 5 9. So, again, he's not going to light the world on fire, but he could get a lot of reps at running back to start off the season, obviously. And I'm one of those guys that I don't, I don't want to say I don't care, but I focus. A lot of my attention to players who are going to get the ball. Like with James Robinson. James Robinson's not the fastest guy. He's not the biggest guy. But he gets a lot of work. Which can get him 100 yards and a touchdown. Which I would take every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Football Sunday. I would take that. And that is why I, I drafted him his rookie season in fantasy football. Because I somebody had to get the work. So... Somebody has to get the work here. In my opinion, it's Abram Smith. He will be mixed in with uh, oh, wow, with Ingram, Mark Ingram. Wow, I almost said Latavius Murray. So, yes, we will see um, him get the work is what I'm saying. So, right here, and I'm just jumping around uh, Twitter, uh, and I just talked about this, 20 to 24 cases. And you see a lot of people very very upset let's go to the latest here on Twitter um, yeah I mean it's just you know on both sides both sides of what's going on you know if he's guilty he should be kicked out for the rest of his life or even if he's not guilty people are saying that he just needs to be just be done you're done then you have other people on the opposite side that are saying, he did nothing wrong. Why is he getting suspended? I don't care about any of that. I, I'm not getting into the 
into, into that. I'm just talking strictly football. So, yeah, you do see a lot of upset people. So, like I said, today we talked about Deshaun Watson. We talked about Alvin Kamara, Abram Smith. And we also talked about, at 100 subscribers, giving this away. I'm going to just pick somebody random give you this. I'm going to send it to your house. You can have it. We'll do a next one at 250 subscribers. So thank you for stopping by. Enjoy your beautiful Sunday. Uh, my wife and I, I think we're going to head to the beach, grab some grab some uh, barbecue and, and bring it home. So I hope you guys have a good day and I will be coming out with another video this week. Um, again, go ahead and subscribe. We talk Madden, we talk DFS, we talk fantasy football, and we talk the NFL. So Thank you, everyone, and have a good day.